Thank you, Senator. Senator Adonla. Goromaigad, alas kahali yogos. Goromaigad, ayre ta falta rot dun flay. Like my colleague uh, Senator Boyan, uh, we won't be uh, supporting uh, this amendment. Although I do sympathise, uh, Brian, with a lot of the sentiment uh, expressed uh, in it, in terms of the socio-economic uh, issues, in terms of the geographical and transportation and access uh, issues, there is a very strong uh, argument to be made there. I think, in the broader macro sense, uh, and it's not for this uh, legislation. That's a fight that we. To stand with you on for another day. Uh, in terms of this, Victor uh, put it uh, very eloquently when he says that the heart of this minister has to be about road safety. It has to be about protecting uh, uh, citizens. It has to be about ensuring uh, that they're safe. So I think it leaves us open. It leaves us vulnerable if we start to create different standards of expectation around people who are going out to operate uh, uh, motor vehicles. Um, it says, you know, I, I'm not even sure how you would roll out the mechanics or, 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 or the implementation uh, of this, who would qualify uh, and, and, and who wouldn't. I just think it leaves us uh, open uh, to a whole, uh, certainly a, a moral uh, 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 kind of a issue, but also a practical uh, issue as well. So, as I say, while, while, while I sympathise with the issues uh, uh, expressed around uh, rural Ireland uh, and transportation and connectivity, I don't think it's it, it's for this day. But what it does do, uh, Minister, and, and I would say this in support of of, of the sentiment uh, behind um, the the amendment, what it does do is lay very clear uh, for us the need to. A, invest uh, in greater uh, rural transportation connectivity, um, but also, uh, again, as Victor uh, outlined, the very clear need to ensure that there isn't these delays uh, in, in waiting times for the examinations uh, and the driving tests. So there is a very, very strong, compelling argument uh, on you, Minister, uh, to ensure that those are brought down for all of the reasons um, expressed uh, by previous uh, speakers. I think if we succeed in doing that, uh, and if we uh, uh, assess uh, and, and locate the necessary uh, and worthwhile uh, uh, resources to this legislation and ensure that it is properly resourced, then we will see those issues uh, overcome uh, in, I think, a much more feasible, uh, a much more uh, practical, but above all else, in a way that ensures uh, greater safety, greater responsibility and greater competency uh, on our roads. Thank you. Uh, loved ones, and none of us want to see traffic tragedy or, or, or accidents uh, on a road. But it comes to the point where I think, in relation to this issue, you have to make a call and you have to set uh, a, a certain standard and a certain expectation. And while there has been a list of things that people may have obtained that, that would be included uh, in this uh, amendment, what they don't have is the passing of the driving test. So for me, that, that, that has to be the bare minimum. That, that has to be uh, the standard that we come uh, to expect from uh, drivers. Otherwise, I, I think you're leaving yourself uh, very vulnerable, uh, very open uh, in terms of should, God forbid, uh, an accident or a tragedy uh, occur uh, on, uh, on our roads. I think we'll have to reflect uh, on that when we are seeking to uh, put this uh, legislation through, but also those uh, colleagues who are sincere in, in, in their efforts to get this uh, amendment through. I don't doubt that uh, for, for one uh, moment. Um, but I think, again, we could, we could channel our, our collective uh, uh, political uh, war with all here, I think, in, in, in addressing these broader societal issues of you know, delays in, in accessing uh, the test, the lack of proper public transportation uh, into our rural communities in a much better way than simply saying, in, this instances, in these instances, um, there will be a lesser standard or a lesser redress should it come to pass that someone does you know, actually break the law and commit uh, what is an offence and someone should be hurt or lose uh, their lives. I think we're leaving ourselves very vulnerable, very open, and setting uh, a precedent um, that, 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 that isn't the right one. Thank you. Uh